So check this out. It looks as though your genetic information may have been compromised if you're a customer of 23andMe after this recent hack. What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and welcome back to the channel. And today I have some more cyber news. And recently 23andMe, the genetics testing giant experienced a security breach that has sent shockwaves through the tech world. And in this video, I wanted to dive into the details of the breach and discuss the implications and most importantly, learn valuable lessons. So let's get to it. But before we dive into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any critical updates like this one. Now let's jump right into the story. This article is on bleeping computer. And of course, I'll always have the link down in the description of the video so you guys can check it out. But the title states, genetic firm 23andMe says user data stolen in credential stuffing attack. And this article was released on October 6th, so a couple of days ago. And I've been tracking it. I bookmarked this article and I've also been looking at more recent news on this topic. Now, 23andMe has confirmed to Beepin Computer that it is aware of user data from the platform circulating on hacker forums and attributes the leak to a credential stuffing attack. Now, what is a credential stuffing attack? I had to look this up, so I'm gonna look at up for you guys as well and just read exactly what it is. Now it says a credential stuffing is a type of cybersecurity attack where an attacker attempts to gain unauthorized access to a protected account by using compromised credentials. And so what is credential stuffing? Credential stuffing abuses digital interfaces and workflows such as login forms to gain unauthorized access to customer accounts. So that's what they were doing. They were using credentials that they either retrieved from another breach and probably trying it against their login to 23andMe. And here's a diagram right here it says attacker, then collection of stolen login credentials, and then they try using bots to log into services. So that's interesting. At least you guys can see a diagram of what that actually is. Now it says 23andMe is a US biotechnology and genomics firm offering genetics testing services to customers who send in saliva sa samples to its lab and get back in ancestry and genetics predisposition report. Now this is crazy, you know what I'm saying? I mean, for them to get this type of information, this is your genetic information that they're able to obtain from 23andMe. And so it's interesting to see how this will develop. Now it says recently, a threat actor leaked samples of data that was allegedly stolen from the genetics firm. And a few days later offered to sell data packs belonging to 23andMe customers. And here's a image of it right there. As you can see, that looks like a database Column, so profile ID, account ID, first name, last name, sex, birth year, has health. So it's it's a bunch of columns and then the data is down in here, which is what they are blurring out. So that's super crazy. It says the initial data leak was limited with the threat actor releasing 1 million lines of data for Ashkenazi people. However, on October 4th, the threat actor offered to sell data profiles in bulk for $1 to $10 per 23andMe accounts, depending on how many were purchased. So that's crazy. They out here box selling people's genetic information. That's crazy. And here's the pricing. Look at this, the pricing, 100 profiles, 1,000, 1,000 profiles, 5,000. So yeah, that's super crazy. And look at it. It's gonna include a lot of information. It says tailored ethnic grouping, you know, photographs, links to hundreds of potential relatives, phenotypes. So that's a lot of, you know, critical information that might go into like HIPAA violations. I don't, I don't even know where this is categorized as far as data. Is it health data, uh, this DNA profiling that they do? I mean, it can essentially, you know, tell someone if they're prone to be sick, you know, certain things like that based on the DNA profile. So I don't know, man, this is crazy. It says a 23andMe spokesperson confirmed the data is legitimate 
and told Bleeping Computer that the threat actors use exposed credentials from other breaches to access 23andMe accounts and steal the sensitive data. Now, this is from the sports person as well. He says, we were made aware that certain 23andMe customer profile information was compiled through access to individual 23andMe com accounts and they also stated we do not have any indication at this time that there has been a data security incident within our system so it's no internal security incident it's basically they're they're going after those accounts or they got access via the stolen credentials now it says rather the preliminary results of this investigation suggest that the login credentials used in these access attempts may have been gathered by a threat actor from data leaks during incidents involving other online platforms where users have recycled login credentials. Oh man, and that goes into one of the things I talk about on this channel all the time. Don't reuse passwords. Quit using the same password on multiple websites because if one service get hacked, they are going to take that password that you use there and they're gonna try it on all the other services. You know what I'm saying? Because they know people get lazy and just use the same password on all the services that they have available or that they want to use. And so that's why I always talk about get a password manager. That way you can store all those passwords and you only have to remember one password, which is the one to log into that database that stores all your random passwords that are totally different based on the website. And that will help protect you, you know, a little bit better online. Now it says the information that has been exposed from this incident includes full names, usernames, profile photos, sex, date of birth genetic ancestry results so yeah what is that fall the hipper i don't know man you know but that's basically your dna based on you sending in your sample and it also shows the geographical location so that's interesting as well to see now it says bleeping computer has also learned that the number of accounts sold by the cyber criminals does not reflect the number of 23andme accounts breached using exposed credentials and so the compromised accounts had opt into the platform's dna relatives feature and so that's i'm assuming that's the feature that they have where you can find relatives that have already put their dna profile out on 23andme so it, it's like a link it links all the potential relatives based on your DNA and their DNA, it'll link them all. Now it says, which allows users to find, yeah, and that's essentially what I was saying, to find genetic relatives and connect with them if you want to. Now, I never wanted to use this 23andMe or any of these genetic companies because I never would want to put my information out there because as you can see, something like this can happen. You know what I'm saying? And you could be doing everything right with your account, but if someone, let's say you're a relative of or someone that matches you in 23andMe, and their account gets hacked your information can still be compromised so that actually sucks and you're basically putting your trust into an organization that probably is not using the best security when it comes to a lot of this stuff now it says the threat actors accessed a small number of 23andme accounts and then scraped the data of their dna relatives match so that's how they was able to turn like a couple accounts into probably a thousand counts you know what i'm saying now it said, which shows how opting into features can have unexpected privacy consequences, especially if they didn't build security into that a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you have access to that whole person's information, just because they are linked via that DNA relative feature, then that's probably not a good thing. And that's probably something they need to change. Now, lastly, it says 23andMe told Bleeping Computer that the platform offers two-factor authentication, which a lot of companies do as an additional account protection measure. And then it encourages our users to enable it and i definitely agree i think you guys should use two-factor authentication at least that's you know adding a layer of security to your account you know what i'm saying even though that can be compromised as well but still you know you can add that extra layer now users should refrain from reusing passwords and consistently employ strong distinct credentials for every online account they have and i'm glad they put this in here bleeping computer within this article because like i said i preach that all the time you should not be reusing the same passwords for all these different accounts because like i said if you use the same one and they get into one they're going to get into all of them because they're going to try them 
trust me now thanks for joining me today as i explore this crucial cybersecurity incident and the 23andme data breach serves as a stark reminder that no one is immune to cyber threats and staying informed is our first line of defense which is why i created this video and if you found this video informative don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with other people that may be interested and i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below also what steps do you take to protect your online data please leave a comment down below so we can talk about it and make sure you subscribe to the keep it techie channel if you're new here for more linux tutorials as well as news updates and tips to stay safe online i hope you guys have a wonderful week and of course keep it techie